Hey, what's going on, everyone? So I want to take a look here at a couple of LSU hitters and talk about the upper body load. And this is something that I see with a lot of young hitters, a lot of hitters in general, not just young hitters, that they don't do. But when you start to watch high-level hitters, some of the better hitters in the country, some of the better programs in the country, um, what you'll notice is that almost all of their hitters do this. They get into a position to hit both with their lower body and their upper body. We were, we're currently going through a hitting clinic, a five-week clinic. And one of the first things that we've talked about with all of our hitters, and, and we've got 150 hitters in this clinic, and I've videotaped every single one of the hitters. And the biggest thing that stands out to me with these hitters, not getting into position to hit, not being in a strong hitting position on time, which is also important. You've got to be there on time. And so if you've seen our videos, you've, you've seen us talk about the core principles. And two of the core principles are part of the loading process, and that's getting the lower body ready to hit, so getting that rear leg loaded and getting your hips coiled. And then the upper body part of it is the same thing, getting our upper body coiled around our leg and feeling a pullback. And so I want to focus in this video on just the upper body. Again, so important to get the upper body. If you want to have, if you want to have a swing that works in the proper sequence, if you want your body to work together properly, then we need to get it loaded the right way. And if you watch the upper body here, right, as she starts to, so this is a little bit later, she's already kind of made a little bit of her coil move, but as she starts to make her, her move out, as she starts to stride out, notice the upper body, how the upper body is, is still coiling and still pulling back and resisting her move forward. This is really key. When I watch young hitters that, that come to see me for the first time, again, with so many hitters currently that we're working with, so many of them don't do this. They've, they've either never been taught to do it or it's been coached out of them. And so notice the move right here. As she's moving out, her upper body is still loading. It's still coiling back. It's still making this move even though her body is moving that way. You can see her rear arm. It's still getting behind her hands as she's moving this way. This is the position that almost every hitter at a high level, every good hitter at a high level, they're going to be in somewhere around this position when their barrel is finally turned. Right? This is the spot. Now I don't teach hitting in in positions, right? Because hitting is moving through pit transition or transitioning through positions. Right? But if we take if we do stop this right before the barrel starts to turn back, this is a universal position that you're gonna see pretty much every great hitter get to. Now will you see small differences? Yes, maybe instead of seeing the, the knob, you know, a general thing that I say is I want to try to get that knob pointed somewhere back towards the catcher's feet, right? And so you might see some hitters that are a little bit more this way and some that maybe are a little bit more that way, right? But you're never going to see, and, it, and here are the keys, this rear arm has always got to be somewhere behind the hands. Again, it could be a little bit lower, it could be a little bit higher. You're not going to see a high level hitter when their front foot is about to get into the ground and their barrel is about to start to make a turn rearward. You're never going to see that rear arm down like this. You're never going to see it in this direction. You're always going to see it up and back. And so a lot of hitters that get to me for the first time, they say, well, I've been, you know, they're struggling. They're struggling to hit. And they said, but I've been told to, to you know, not get my, my arm up like this. I can't, they told me to keep my arm down to be shorter to the ball. You've got to get your upper body in a position to hit, coiled, pulled back, 
rear arm behind top hand, somewhere around top hand, knob somewhere in this direction. All right. Resisting our move forward. Here's a different hitter. Same exact thing. Upper body coiling as she moves forward. Rear arm behind top hand. Here's another shot. Right now, she makes it, this is a different hitter than the first hitter. She makes it even more of an excessive move, right? So she really pulls back. But it's the same idea. Upper body coiling, resisting her forward move. Coiling, coiling, coiling. Now the barrel starts to turn back. And she hammers this ball. Right, so. Every hitter that you see, again, if you watch, if you start watching the high-level hitters, the high-level programs, you're going to see very similar moves. I mean, the ball almost goes out of the stadium. <laughs> so think about what position are you getting into to hit. And again, there's no static position. But when I stop the film... I tell all the hitters, when I stop the film on elite hitters, they're very similar. Right? They're all going to be in a very, very, very similar position because they have made these certain movements. For us, again, core principle number two, getting the upper, upper body to coil around this leg and pull back with the, and use our back and get our rear arm behind our top hand that's a universal for me core principle for really really elite hitters so hopefully that makes sense if you want drills to learn this if you want to delve more into exactly the four core principles the three absolutes of hitting how to do it why to do it and the drills to do it check out the description box below we've got a course on that I'm getting a ton of good feedback uh, on that course especially now with with the season underway um and so check it out if you like. Click the description box down there. That's all we got. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.